Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Mega Argentina Lover. And uh, we've got to talk about expand mining facilities. Massive tin and tungsten deposits can be found near the Bolivian ground, but due to the corrupt and inefficient government, have been mostly left untouched. Our expertise in rigid bureaucracy can provide the means to fully exploit these reserves. Very much. America plan. On our own, we will not be able to survive, with, and with Germany and the Entente inching ever closer towards global war, we need to foster better relations with American powers, unity, and strength. For now, until we try to kill them off. Uh, fall from the American Civil War, as darkness takes over America. Thousands of refugees are flooding over the nation, hoping to escape the killing in their homeland. This could, however, be seen as a diplomatic move. The possible victor of the Civil War would not appreciate, so we should tread relatively carefully. As the world's going crazy, ooh, we lost a sub. That sucks, bro. Um, yeah, so keep seeing some convoys too. Uh, so yeah, the world is on fire. The Reichsback's doing okay. They're not doing great, and the Eastern Front is good. God, it's a mess. It's a giant mess. Oh, I hate it when the AI just does not know how to fight. Lost another sub, whatever. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're probably repairing, aren't you? You need more, yeah. I need some more dockyards. I built more stuff, like supply up here, too. Guys, we're trying to invade Peru next, because... Why not? And we got, like, 25 days left. That's not bad. There's railway system, foreign volunteers. We're kind of good for now. We're just going to let and watch what happens around here. Please stop attacking. For the love of God, please stop attacking. Please let them just grind on you. Which sounds like fun, but whatever. And, uh, yeah. Any parts and stuff? All the way. All the fucking way. As we watch them, kind of just kill each other. Uh, there's one comment from the last video saying, there's two two things. There's Argentino and there's Argentino. There you go. Keep seeing coming, boys. Fall of oh, whoa. Ah, the feds are... Yeah, they're going to collapse. The PSA is going to win, though. Under Colbert Levy Olson. Social liberal. Uh, Opera the first. And there it goes. The federal collapse. Good job. Pacific States of America. End of the American Civil War. Sure. Also, off-screen. I was, I was playing this off-screen. Oh, that's disgusting when Canada owns Buffalo. Oh, that's not good. Fifth Balkan War. Um, the Entente and the Reichsback did confirm that they will... Uh, not capitulate, but they will work with each other and, and cooperate. Just say they should. They are going to cooperate. Of course, they do have a good fight in the Belgrade back now with Austria and all them too. So, honestly, it's the only ones war. Please, for the love of God, stop attacking. Please, Germany. Please. Uh, I send. Uh, sure, why not? Sure. What do you want me to fight? The Cairo Pact. I mean. I guess if we have to. I don't really care. Oh. And the Dwarf Puerto Rico is fine. Um, the Andean Pact. We'll probably try to fight the Andean Pact after Peru. Just because we can. And the Fall of the American Civil War. Oh, what's this? Uh, to, oh, oh, the dam production. Or construction. Nice. That'd be great. Tungsten excavation studies in Potosi. And La Paz. Here, go, go and do both. It's fine. Because now we're going to go to war. Total mobilization would not be bad. We will need to mobilize more, though. Go to extensive, and then we'll go to total mobilization. Fall of Riga. That's not good. All right, you guys are doing this. Supplies are probably really not good. Need some Micronesia. Demaria Plain. Hopefully, we can do okay-ish here. You see Sea Wolf. Uh, Silent Hunter. Cool down as much as you possibly can. Let's take a look-see. Now I'm sure they'll join a certain faction here. Doesn't really matter to me, though. Um, let's go pretty thinly around here. Just get combos if you can. And I don't want to have supply issues, too. Puno? They're pretty well stacked up here, not gonna lie. They're pretty darn well stacked. If we could... Do this. Can we at least encircle... Th yes, we probably can circle three divisions. Because it looks formidable. And they might be formidable. Oh, we need more trucks, don't we? Quite a few more trucks. Oh, trucks, but really support them, and that's one we really need. Could you guys do anything here, maybe? Any cars and stuff? Nice. Nice, there you go. That's absolutely what we want to see here. Beautiful.
That instantly helps us out. At least a little bit more. 52,000 have died, not bad. Integrate Uruguay. War propaganda. We need more stability. Oh boy. Nice. Pretty good. Yeah. You know what? You can just attack them here. They can probably do okay, anyways. Good. Eastern Micronesia. Don't really care about that spot. How much manpower do they have? They're not going to have just t nothing, but. 10%. <clears throat> what do we go to? Go to mobilization. Now we're demobilizing. Building, building, building. Keep making, you know, make another thing of dockyards. We could really use more dockyards. Um, 100%. There you go. Actually, with three full lines, get a thing of what else? Steel is something we really need. Um, you know what? Military factory wise, we're doing okay. We could use maybe another one. God, roads suck down here so much. Alright, 1941. Cass. Yeah, getting more cast would be very beneficial too. Alright, so that's the case. Send you three here, send two right there. And you can up out here too. Because you guys should be pretty thick, right? Yeah, 40 combo, that's pretty thick. Supply wise, we'll take this one and we'll take this one too. Puno is very, 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 very important. There's attack here. More, more importantly, can you actually do well down here? Fighters. Immigrants from the U.S. Uh, not very much. As their homeland has been de devolved into civil war and thousands die on the streets of the once great American nation for their defunct ideology, swarms of refugees from the U.S. have departed from the East Coast, setting, setting sail for our nation, of course, which is great. For years, we have upheld a policy of open immigration of actively attracted foreigners. Accepting refugees from the USA, however, could have unforeseen diplomatic implications, and the rate at which they keep flowing in could put a strain on our implications, on our nation. Remove the 50%. Close American, close the board for American citizens. Encourage American immigration. Increase entry fees. We get a whole civvy. That's not bad. Of course, we could really use more stability, so I'm going to go with that one. No. No. Encourage immigration. Yo, we need population. Close the border? Heck no. 10%, that's alright. 120 days. Steel. Infrastructure. It's gonna go up anyways. Give us whatever you got. And, ooh. Middle European... No, Middle European. Middle European resource industrialists. Access, our access to the Bolivian reserves has attracted resource industrials from all over middle, middle Europe. We're interested in the tungsten reserves of the resource they desperately lack. Good. This one's next. It has to be next. Arquipa? Quepa? Good. Very good. Damn construction. Let's go through for more, more stability. Good, good, good. Can you actually do this now? Can do well, maybe? How would you help out right here? That'll work. I think we'll get them done. Let's start doing that stuff, too. Beautiful. Tons of arty. Wow. Trucks and support them, of course. Keep going. Oh, can you get another? Oh, yes. That'd be very good. Let's first industry. Uh, do we actually need that rubber? Not really. Whatever. I'll take it anyways. Seven divisions. Jesus Christ. How close are they? They're not that close. 41,000. 32 divisions max. Air superiority wise, we're doing all right. Eastern Micronesia is getting invaded, but no one really cares. Please Modernized factory or forestry, actually. Argentina has a lot of potential in the forestry industry because of its variety of climates, quality land, and uh, consistent precipitation, which allows for the cultivation of various tree species at high growth rates, creating a cycle of planting forests, harvesting wood, exporting cellulose, paper, and furniture made from our wood can significantly benefit our economy. And modernize livestock farms. Now the country's been reunited, we can concentrate on expanding, modernizing, mechanizing our agricultural sector. With wars looming in Northern America and Eastern Europe, the world needs our food exports more than ever. Fishing? How about excavation industry? 
<laughs> our land is rich in resources, including iron ore. Expansion of local excavation and steel production can reduce our allowance on steel imports while also creating new jobs. Which sounds like a pretty good thing to me. Pretty darn good things. Now, in the meantime, I'll, earlier we had to fade and fade up because I accidentally forgot about, you know, Officer Core and it, the game crashed. Like normal. Um, but forestry, ooh, one move to get more civvies. Ooh, you get another civvy. It takes civvies to make civvies, so what do you expect? You know, nothing's free. But we got a lot here. Get more uh, infrastructure. Further ex infrastructure expansion in La Paz. Steel, tungsten, steel, tungsten, which will all be good. And we're already this far up into Peru, and they're about to capitulate as long as we can just kill them off. We literally just need to take a towel, looks like 90% of the way there. Not bad. I almost clicked that thing again. God dang it. I hate that thing so much. And could we actually win right here? Probably not. But you never know. And you're not going in there, sir. No, you're not. Not today. Nah, this guy's learned a lot. General Enrique Mosconi. And we have a cup of coffee here, too, to keep us nice and warm. And they can't do a single god dang thing to us. And we have won. Yay. Thank you for Lima. Now, we are poised to go to war with these guys as well. Which is okay. However, supply, as we probably all know in this area, is god awful. Actually, you do it right there. So, let's start doing stuff from there to there. That'd be nice. Uh, expand the airbase. Get some more of that stuff up there, too. Triple Italian Republic is gone. Start doing that some more. Who needed cities? Um, we'll probably have only six here because I really only want to focus on these guys over here. Um, yeah, other than that, we'll be okay. That's how's war in Europe going. Well, that's not good. And, oh my goodness, that's not good either. They're doing, they're doing well against the Russians somewhat. But on all the other fronts, not so much. Oh, look at that. London is falling. Well, they've evaded Wales as well. Fate of Peru. Oh, yeah. Fate of La Paz. Thank you. Uh, Fate of Peru. After the campaign across the hostile Peruvian Andes, the fine man shattered the Peruvian defenses. Lima's now in her hands. We must now decide on the future of Peru. Oopsie. My finger slipped. Um, yeah, just keep building all this stuff up. I mean, that's really... The main thing, just build, 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 build. And when you're done building, build some more. For the love of God, we need more. Going to go two, get some more fighters, because we'll probably need them as well. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Nice, we have a lot, four capital ships. Well, I guess 12 capital ships and 12, 14 destroyers. So that's not very good. We need a more balanced approach. Um, besides support equipment. Uh, these divisions, they are 40 combat. They're pretty thick, boys. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, but supplies going to be so god-awful here. It's not even funny. Hey, follow Petrograd. Yeah, that's not bad. <clears throat> well, that sucks for you guys. Oh, well, Petrograd's on this side, not over there, huh? Well then. God, what a mess. Ooh, uh, the Entente better be careful. Just say they better be careful. We could become a spy master if we really wanted to. We don't have that many civvies just because well, we're trying to build a whole bunch. All these take like two, two to five. I think all three, really. We have quite a big industrial base actually since we took up Brazil. Modernized livestock. It's very nice. I think on the left side here is done. Um, we got a lot of building options. Connect the roads. Spring agriculture wouldn't be terrible either. Uh, let's see. We are navy strengthened, so we should do. Well, that's not bad. More soft attack. I like that a lot. Let's do one more naval one first. Merchant Marine. Astarsa expansion. 3,660 days. Protecting the coasts. Marine technology. Electronics. Fleet movements. The Asterios Argentinos Rio de la Plata SA, Argentinian doctor to the La Plata River SA, is one of the most important naval companies we have in our country. Expanding the facilities will help us produce a navy that will make the socialists tremble. At least that's a hope. Because we are just fighting on these guys, and it's going to take a while still. Expand that, we'll do this one, and then after we strengthen the navy once, go. Uh, fast and Furious. Hey, you know, Fast and Furious, why not? 
Our new experimental tank designs have proven to be able to reach a speed unimaginable with foot infantry and even cavalry. If we put this speed to our advantage, we will be able to have our strategic upper hand on the battlefield. Augustin P. Justo passes away. Today, after a few weeks of medical consultations, Juno Augustin Pedro Justo has unfortunately passed away in his home. While an autopsy is yet to be revealed the cause of death, it's widely believed he simply died of old age, as he was already 60 years old and having lived a fair share of complicated personal situations. As a leading member of the pro-British wing of the army, his, breath now marks, his death now marks a turning point towards the pro-German cliques, a favorable development for the GOU, but Liborio has come out riding against the government and the military, blaming them for Justo's death. Uh, his funeral preparations are being made. Uh, it's unclear whether the protection Augusti granted Liborio will hold up after his death. The old marshal is gone. Not... Oh, it's not him, so... Unfortunately, that guy is now gone. Even though we do the, we have our justification ready to go. Immigration report on twenty-one. Nice, eighty, almost eighty-one thousand Buenos Aires. That's nice. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good too. Oh wow, the Germans are slowly losing. That's not good. Oh, Austrians holding out though. That's pretty nice. Oh, they've actually been able to push back this way. Okay, interesting. The Germans have really been focusing on Russia. Holy crap. These guys actually lost London. That sucks. So we'll I'll see what happens. Um. I just really want to wait until we go to go to war just because it's not looking very good right here because of supply. That's literally the only issue. Supply. Supply. It's always supply. But, you know, it is what it is. Of course, we'll do this one. We'll go to war with them. We'll do some Fast and Furious and maybe some Concentrated Fire. Thanks to our decent industrial capabilities or capacities, we're able to produce heavier and more powerful pieces of artillery. By concentrating this enormous firepower, we can at least... And it looks like we've just researched advanced cruisers. How great, great, great. In which we've done, actually, um, what have we done? Uh, cruiser program. Our battleships may be powerful, but they need to be repaired with powerful escorts. To that end, we decided to be wise to invest in a cruiser program to improve our current ones. Fleet movements. It's not enough that we have a fast, dirty, powerful navy. If our officers don't know how to take advantage of their ship capabilities, we'll take our officers into the sea with these ships and perform naval exercises and anti-tank guns. We're not the only nation that shows interest in the new tanks. Our enemies are, too. If we ever end up at war with them, we must develop ways to counter their armor. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Better guns. Uh, we also became a, a the spy masters of the Reich's Pact. Let's see. Ooh, convoy go bye-bye, nice. And fleet movements, of course. And we're doing pretty well against Colombia. Um, overall, they are doing okay. So, yeah. Uh, we're about to win against these guys, which will be great, 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 great. That's going to take some time, that's all. Can we see something here? Got some of you guys here. Oh. Better guns. Oh, we need more steel, of course. What else is new? I'm trying to get better subs at the very least. So now we can make these guys. Fleet movements and entity guns. Keep these things. Oh, we won! Nice. Um, we've been doing expanding my iron ore, tungsten stuff, expand local roads in Santiago de Astro. Uh, found. Asindar, expand local roads in Cordoba. So, overall, not bad. We gotta do this, all this stuff too. It's gonna suck, but whatever. Got more factories, which is pretty nice. Um, naval bombers, tactical bombers. We have fighters. I guess we get some naval bombers, tactical bombers. We don't have any. Okay, then. Well, that's not good. Hmm. We got plenty of rubber, though. That's surprising, not gonna lie. There you go. Maybe that for now, too. Maybe you need to. Other than that, we're doing quite well. Um, trying to build, just trying to improve everything here, for the most part. So, for example, this place down here is what? Oh, whoa. Okay, well that's kind of weird, but okay, sure, we'll get this one too. Why not? Um, I'm trying to make these guys bigger and better, but we'll see. I kind of want to take out Costa Rica, but they're in the puppet of these guys, whose independence is being guaranteed by Germany. I shouldn't go to war with this, right? Right? Ireland's getting attacked. It's okay for now. You guys sit down here. You guys go and start training. You guys are alright. Um, probably could probably use some supply through here. Yeah, definitely could use some. And there you go. Just keep building yourselves up, but really, these two are the most important for now. And Levan Gadza. Whatever it is. Whatever that dude's name is, and help put down resistance. Yeah. Panama, if you're about this, please go ahead. Colombia. And military activation. We just did this one. They double penalized us, that's great. Honestly, I mean, there's not really much else here for us to do. The United States is here, but they're still yellow. 
Uh, Jimmy's still sucking. And yeah. Over on the bed, 18 guns. Um, expand the docks. Our docks won't press for South American country are no longer enough for our ambitions. It wants to pass the other powers of the world and expansion of our dockyards are in order. Well, to be honest, there's not really much else for us to do here. I mean, you can do refugee for scientists, military occupation Paraguay, ideological persecution, which I love, persecution, expand agriculture in Paraguay, which is not bad, connect the railroads, expand agriculture in Uruguay, middle European panzer deals, expand the fishing industry, of course, economic reinvigoration, which is not bad, infrastructural expansion, Islas Malvinas naval expansion from shore to shining shore, eradicate uh, insurgents, logistics battalions, small arms breakthroughs, not bad. Institito Balsero. Oh, that's not that's really good to get in the research. Actually, that's very good. I should have done that one earlier. License foreign technology. We didn't even do anything for the Air Force. Honestly, like I love the 30 day, 35 day focuses. But like I guess it's 1942 and you have focuses for the rest of the campaign, but there's really not much else for here to do. Like obviously we had to basically cheat to survive in the first time, first place. But like what can we do this one? Oh we need one of these two, that's why. Um but Ooh, naval, naval, naval game. That's not bad too. But yeah, other than that, I mean, we're pretty much done here. I mean, these guys are still struggling greatly, but that's not our problem for now. Our expect's not looking good. Russia's not looking good at all. They might actually capitulate. But honestly, my main goal is make Mega Argentina. So I think we just might end the campaign right there. So um, I think we've been very, very, very quite successful, right, Ermin Gisk? But if you enjoy the campaign, please do consider leaving a like, Reno. Subscribe if you are new. Um, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.